What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and Super and today we're going to be talking about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, specifically the Illuminati scene for Multiverse of Madness and how I don't think what happened is actually going to remain that way. But what if I actually told you that while things might not have gone 100% according to the Illuminati's plan, they still didn't actually lose control over the situation and there was a contingency plan put in place in case something bad happened. Now, that's all I'm going to say without issuing a spoiler warning. If you have not seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and you care about spoilers, now's the time to click away. But if you've seen it or you simply don't care, let's talk about how the Illuminati could have been and probably were brought back to life using the time stone. And the more I think about this theory, it actually solves a bit of a problem that I had with Mr. Fantastic and the entire Illuminati. And it makes me feel a little bit better about what happened. And if you're feeling a little bit uneasy about how easily they died, this theory will probably make you feel better. So let's dive into it. And of course, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel videos. Now, to start off, I really didn't like how easily the Illuminati lost to the Scarlet Witch. Now, having said that, I totally get it. I understand what this scene was for, and Michael Waldron, the writer of Loki and Multiverse of Madness, has explained why they killed everybody. According to him, they did this scene so everybody would truly fear the Scarlet Witch and know just how powerful she was. And success. That was a very big success on their part. That's exactly what that scene did. It creeped us out and really showed us how strong the Scarlet Witch was. But this is the Illuminati, the most powerful beings in the universe. I mean, we have Professor Xavier, Mr. Fantastic, Captain Marvel, Black Bolt, Captain Carter, and they got beat pretty badly. But here's the theory. They're not actually dead. Yes, they did die, but what if Mordo used the Time Stone to bring them all back to life? The more I think about this theory, the more it makes sense. Now, credit to Joe on Twitter at DrStrangeATL for coming up with the base of this theory that Mordo probably has the Time Stone and would probably use it to resurrect the Illuminati. And here's why I think this is actually what probably happened. Read Richards. They literally introduced him in the movie as the smartest man alive. And I thought it was pretty cavalier of the Illuminati to kind of just brush off the Scarlet Witch. In fact, Captain Marvel literally calls her a little witch. Very arrogantly, she says, oh, we can handle your little witch if she decides to dreamwalk. Here's my issue. I get that they are extremely powerful, but they are a part of the Illuminati. Reed Richards and Mordo are both a part of this Illuminati, and Reed Richards was very good friends with Doctor Strange, who was also the founder of the Illuminati. And the Illuminati clearly knows what dreamwalking is, so I'm going to assume that they know who the Scarlet Witch is and how powerful she is. And since Reed Richards is the smartest man alive, I really doubt that he would be so careless with the Scarlet Witch. I actually think it's quite the opposite. I actually think that Reed Richards pretty much knew that they wouldn't be able to defeat Wanda. Because after the death of Black Bolt, Reed Richards just kind of reaches for Wanda. And I always thought, well, what exactly are you planning to do there, Mr. Fantastic? there's not much you can do, which was proven because he then instantly died. And here's the other thing. If you look closely at everybody's facial expressions in the Illuminati when they're fighting the Scarlet Witch and they all start to die, they aren't really too horrified. No one seems that shocked. And perhaps this could be because maybe Mordo used the Time Stone to look into the future. Very similar to what Doctor Strange did in Avengers Infinity War with Thanos. If Reed Richards and Mordo were on the same team, it would make sense that Reed would say, Mordo, can you look into the future? Future and see what the outcome of this is. We have a new Doctor Strange here from another universe. What exactly is about to happen? Maybe Mordo saw into the future and realized that they're not going to be able to beat the Scarlet Witch and that ultimately it will come down to Doctor Strange from Earth 616 and America Chavez defeating the Scarlet Witch. The only thing they needed to do was slow her down so she doesn't get America Chavez, at least not right away. And even though they saw their deaths, they could also see past them because Mordo was still alive. This would enable Mordo to reverse literally everything that happened at the Baxter building, including everybody's deaths. Now, I know one of the big questions out there is why didn't the Avengers use the Time Stone to revive Tony Stark? Well, Tony Stark's death was caused by all of the Infinity Stones, which most likely made it irreversible by only one stone. That's pretty much the best explanation that we've heard so far. But a death caused by another person, by the Scarlet Witch, is completely reversible, and we've actually seen this proven to be true in the first Doctor Strange movie. If you recall, at the end of the movie, Wong was actually dead. 
He died, but Doctor Strange used the Time Stone to reverse what had happened, including the death of Wong. So that establishes the fact that the Time Stone absolutely has the capability to reverse what went down in the Baxter building, including all of their deaths. And it was very convenient that Mordo was the only person left alive, wasn't it? The Sorcerer Supreme was the person left alive. The person that knows how to work the Time Stone was left alive. And even before he started fighting with Doctor Strange and got sort of trapped down there in that chamber, he was still the only one that never went to battle the Scarlet Witch. He was always the one that was supposed to remain behind. Plus, we have to think about what Professor Xavier said as well. He sort of guided Doctor Strange. He told him about how to get the Vashanti, almost like he pretty much knew what was about to happen. The Scarlet Witch would kill them all, except for Mordo, but Doctor Strange would outrun Wanda, get the Vashanti, until eventually Wanda would catch up, grab America Chavez, but again, their job was to kind of just slow the Scarlet Witch down. I don't think anybody could defeat the Scarlet Witch. I think that was the point of the Illuminati scene. She had to beat herself, so it always came down to Strange and America Chavez helping Wanda realize that she had become a monster. And if you noticed in the Illuminati scene where they're on Titan, where they actually killed Thanos, if you look at his gauntlet, he does not have the Time Stone. He never got the Time Stone from Doctor Strange at the time. Because remember, Strange was Sorcerer Supreme before Morda was in that universe. So we can assume that the origin of the Doctor Strange in that universe was kind of similar to ours in Earth 616. Started as a doctor, got in the accident, hands don't work anymore, found the Carmitage, became a sorcerer, used the Time Stone to become a great sorcerer. Being able to study in which would have normally taken days and probably years in only a short amount of time due to the Time Stone. That's how Strange became so knowledgeable and powerful so quickly. So we can assume the same thing happened here and that Doctor Strange had the Time Stone and then eventually that went to Mordo. So we can establish a few things here. One is that Thanos did not have the Time Stone. This was made clear in the Titan scene where we saw in the Gauntlet, it wasn't there. Since Mordo Mordo was the Sorcerer Supreme, he most likely had the Time Stone. And Reed Richards, the smartest man alive, was obviously familiar with the Infinity Stones because they had to fight Thanos. And since Doctor Strange in that universe was the original person to form the Illuminati, and was a good friend of Reed Richards, in fact when Mr. Fantastic comes out, you can see that he's actually kind of happy to see Doctor Strange. He says, Steven, and he smiles, and when Doctor Strange even makes fun of him, he smiles again because he kind of misses his old friend. So they were good friends and part of the Illuminati together, which means they've probably fought together before, which means Doctor Strange has probably used the Eye of Agamotto slash Time Stone before. And Mr. Fantastic, being the smartest man alive, would probably realize that they could look into the future to see the outcomes of certain things, and then if things didn't go according to plan, they could use the Time Stone to reverse what had happened. In fact, that universe seems to be a little bit more advanced, and this could actually be due to the Time Stone being able to reverse certain tragic events that would happen in the universe and the world. World. So I believe one of two things happened, or both of these happened. The first one is that the Time Stone is simply a contingency plan. If anything bad happens to the Illuminati, Mordo uses the Time Stone to bring them all back. The second thing that could have happened also involves the first part, but it involves also using the Time Stone to look forward into the future to know what's about to happen. They could have seen that the Scarlet Witch would kill them all, but they kind of had to die so they could slow her down, but the plan then would still be to use the Time Stone to bring them back. This technically also shouldn't affect Incursion that much, since Doctor Strange, America Chavez, and the Scarlet Witch were only in their universe for maybe an hour. And since they can reverse all the damage that have been done, it shouldn't really affect it. And in the eyes of Mr. Fantastic and the Illuminati, that would probably make everything that was about to go down okay. Not ideal, since they all but Mordo die, but still, at the end of it all, everything would be the same, and eventually the Scarlet Witch would go on to destroy the Darkhold, which is something that the Illuminati would probably want. But this is just a theory. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I personally think that since Mr. Fantastic is such a genius, he probably would have thought of something like this. But let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Marvel videos. For live updates, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.